everybody's friend It's Tyler It's your only black friend Because your best black friend I wouldn't trade him for another black friend Cause black friends are rare as you should be aware He's mopping Richard Pryor So just sit and stare It's everybody's friend It's Tyler It's everybody's friend It's Tyler Hey guys, Tally here. So, for this video, I'll be responding to a segment that was done by MSNBC, where pretty much the whole entire clip was just gaslighting what is and what isn't CRT. And so without further hesitation, let us respond to the video and just get my uh, two cents about the whole entire thing. I just wrote down a few of the notes of what people are calling um, critical race theory. Marxism, racism, bigoted. Uh, let's let's start with the Marxism. That's their favorite one. They're using that every single time. Uh, and I, I hate to ask you, I hate to ask dumb questions. So please don't think that I'm dumb. <laughs> Is critical race well, theory Marxism? Look, you know what? Here's here's the thing, Joy. Um, critical race theory is not so much a thing. It's a way of looking at a thing. It's a way of looking at race. It's a way of looking at why after so many decades, centuries, actually, since the emancipation, we have patterns of inequality that are enduring. They are stubborn. And the point of critical race theory originally was to think and talk about how law contributed to the subordinate status of African-Americans, of indigenous people, and of an entire uh, group of people who were, were coming to our shores uh, from, from Asia. Um, and the point was, quite frankly, to understand the problem in order to intervene in it, to understand why the greatest uh, uh, hopes for our republic were not being realized, even though these hopes were encoded in law. So critical race theory just inherits the uh, beliefs and the hopes of Frederick Douglass, of, of Martin Luther King, who basically want the law to do for the freed people what the law did for enslavers. I love how Mrs. Crenshaw never actually answered the question on whether critical race theory was Marxist or not. And not only that though, she had the audacity in this whole entire video clip right here to flat out state that they were influenced by the like of Martin Luther King and these other kind of civil rights activists to create critical race theory. And so without further hesitation, of course, let's just see the definition of critical race theory that's been done by these critical race theorist actors to give you guys an idea of what this whole entire ideology really means. Critical race theory, according to Britannica, is an intellectual movement and loosely organized framework of legal analysis based upon the premise that race is not a natural biological ground of feature, a physical distinct subgroups of human beings, but a socially constructed, culturally invented category that is used to impress and exploit people of color. Critical race theory hold that law and legal institutions in the United States are inherently racist and so far as they function to create and maintain a social, economic, political inequalities between whites and non-whites, especially African Americans. This comes directly from the American Bar Association. Principles of Critical Race Theory While recognizing the evolving and malleable nature of critical race theory, Scholar Kinera Bridges outlines a few key tenets of critical race theory, including the recognition that race is not biologically real, but is socially constructed and socially significant. It recognized that science, as demonstrated in Human Genome Project, refused the idea of biological racial differences. Acknowledgement that racism is a normal feature of society and is embedded within systems and institutions like the legal system that replicate racial inequality. This, this dismisses the idea that racist incidents are aberrations but instead are manifestations of structural and systemic racism. Rejection of popular understandings about racism, such as arguments that conflate racism to a few bad apples. Critical race theory recognize that racism is codified in law, embedded in structure, and woven to public policy. Critical race theory rejects claims of meritocracy or colorblindness. Critical race theory 
recognize that it's the systemic nature of racism that bear primary responsibility for reproducing racial inequality. Recognition of the prevalence of people's everyday lives through scholarship. This includes embracing the lived experience of people of color, including those preserved through storytelling and, re and rejecting deflect information research that excludes the anopolis of people of color. As you guys can see by these definitions, it's safe to say that a lot of these people who support critical race theory, who are writers of this whole entire nonsense, basically thinks that society is inherently racist and that biological differences between the races are not a thing and that apparently discouragement of colorblindness is also another thing according to these sort of definitions that I just showed you guys right now. Now first and foremost, I want to state that obviously in the past what happened was really bad and it was actually systemic racism against minorities with the slavery that was happening with the transatlantic slave boats with the separation of people through segregation by the major institutions and whatnot and so yes it's true that the united states was kind of founded on that kind of racist sort of aspect that said since like 1964 we've been trying our hardest not to build laws, not to build structures solely based upon racism. A matter of fact, if you start with the assumption that society is racist and then law is racist, therefore the whole entire society is racist, you're making some sort of presupposition where pretty much anything that we do is just racist because apparently all this sort of stuff is like inherently racist. That to me does not make no sense at all. It makes no sense to make some sort of statement that something is racist only to reconfirm your own personal belief system. It's just insane. Number two, I would love to have some sort of examples of this sort of stuff that everything in our society is just inherently racist. That's just crazy. And also, when it comes down to this whole entire question about whether or not uh, critical race theorists is like Marxist or not, Here's the exact statement that was done by Mrs. Cronstraw. By legitimizing the use of race as a theoretical fulcrum and focus in legal scholarship, so-called racialist accounts of racism and the law granted the subsequent development of critical race theory in much the same way that Marxism's introduction of class structures and struggle into classical political economy granted subsequent critiques of social hierarchy and power. Critical scholars get their vision of legal ideology in part from the work of Antonio Gramsci, an Italian neo-Marxist theorist. As you guys can see, Mrs. Crimshaw just flat out lied on television about the underpinnings for this ideology. So is critical race theory, does, is there a K through 12 curriculum <laughs> that right now is being taught. I'm sorry, I know it's a dumb question, but uh, is there a K through 12 curriculum on critical race theory that's being taught in schools around this country? Well, look, Joy, if it was news to most Americans that critical race theory was in K through 12, it was news to me too. I'm one of the co-authors of one of the few books on critical race theory. I think I would know if we were being taught in K through 12. I mean, basically critical race theory, classic critical race theory is a law school course. And it's really, you know, not taught as widely as I would hope it would. Yeah. But here's the deal. This is not about whether anything called critical race theory is in K through 12. What they're calling critical race theory doesn't exist anyway. It is a backlash effort to reverse the racial reckoning unlike any we've seen in our lifetime. And as you pointed out at the beginning, they can't say, you know, we're for racism. They can't say Derek Chauvin should have killed George Floyd with his hand in his pocket, looking like he was completely uh, without a care in the world. They couldn't say that. So they 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 looked around and found a, a strange sounding theory that they could put all of the grievances and uh, resentments in and mobilize people around this boogeyman. Yet again, another lie. Critical race theory is in fact being taught at schools across the country. 
a matter of fact, there are literal books that are based upon the idea of teaching critical race theory to students in public schools. Besides the whole entire situation with the book study, there are also various Zoom calls across the various parts of YouTube where pretty much teachers are openly discussing how to teach critical race theorists to the various students in the classrooms. And there's also various documents, which by the way, I talked about my channel many times for those who are interested about the whole entire topic. Just look at the whole entire Marxism claim to sit here and say that there is no school that is not employing some sort of critical race theory, some sort of anti-racism, is literally far from the truth. When in reality, I have entire playlists talking about this sort of stuff, when people who actually see the documents go out and, and course protest, obviously, of course, it is being taught towards students in our schools. To sit here and lie is ridiculous. So I guess I, I guess my last question to you would be, what do you worry is, is, is sort of the purpose of what they're trying to do? Because this is political. It is about getting out the white you know, voters in 2022. Is there a bigger risk uh, to naming critical race theory as some sort of Marxist plot? Well, of course. I mean, the, the, the biggest risk is that this tried and true framing of anti-racism as racist against white people is going to win again. It won at the end of the Civil War when civil rights were framed as reverse discrimination against white people. It won after Brown versus Board of Education when integration was framed as damaging uh, white children. And it could win now if people don't wake up and have a sense of what's at stake. It is just so incredibly dishonest how she pissed like those against critical race theory as the same sort of league as of course the people who pretty much you know oppose like integration and of course you know all that kind of jazz and also how anti-racism is not of course not really racist now first and foremost the most famous book of course in the market is called how to be anti-racist and how the author defines like you know anti-racism is like a lot of different stuff. You have to be anti-capitalist to be anti-racist. You need to also make sure that past discrimination justifies future discrimination and that apparently you only have two choices. You're either a racist or an anti-racist. And also apparently like those who, you know, are not activists are the ones who are racist and that the people who are activists are in fact the anti-racists. Yeah, I'm not actually exaggerating by the way guys. That came directly from the book that I'm talking about. And so, it's also really sad of course, like the whole entire definition of racism by critical race theory is totally fucked now. Because, of course, me and you, we use the whole entire word to mean like, you know, prejudice against someone because they're skin color. Now, critical race theory says, well you see, the whole entire issue is that racism requires institutions and so therefore minorities cannot be racist and blah 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 blah. Which is ridiculous. Truly is utterly ridiculous. So no, I don't buy for a single second that me being against critical race theory is the same sort of league as being against the civil rights movement. Or, this is so weird. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.
everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's 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 everyone's friend.